and welcome to Geo Guesser with Strange Lands. We have Matt in the hat. Hello. And Talkus in the hat. Rejoice. I am Fixer in the hat, and how's everybody doing today? Going a little crazy from all this mercury poisoning. Hats. Well, that sounds like fun. How are you getting mercury poisoning? Making hats. Oh, funny. Well, I mean, at least you're not dying in Flint from gunshot wounds. Yeah. <laughs> what? Two, two people have died that have been involved in the Flint water crisis this past week. Yeah, I, I know. One of them is... Um, okay. Four things. Just laugh, Talkas, just laugh. Anyways, <laughs> so this was an interesting uh, week in our, our GeoGuessr seeds here. Um... Some gentleman by the name of Fripps got a score of 24,867. Four of his scores were perfect scores, perfect 5,000s. So I'm not sure what's going on there, Mr. Fripps. Um, if you would like to speak up and, and discuss your geographical knowledge, we would certainly be interested because that is a score that we have never, ever seen on a two-minute timer. Although it's... Although it should be noted that he didn't actually like post his score anywhere, so it's possible that right, right, right. Uh, it, it's possible there's some completely innocent explanation for it all. You know, just you know, play a uh, Fripps advocate here. So yeah, this is we're we're going off like well, we get to see the results now with the updates to GeoGuess. So we're not just going off the posts in the f subreddit. Uh, we do get to see everybody's scores. Yes, somebody got a near perfect score of twenty four thousand eight hundred sixty seven. Anyways. Other than that, the next highest score was somebody posting by the name of Fixer, and it was not me. I don't know who that is. And they got a pretty ridiculous score of 24,089. At easy.com, Fixer TV. Outside of that, some gentleman by the name of H2O Bear NC, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Is that a North Carolina bear, I Matt? I don't know. Water bear <laughs> is probably what he wants there, but yeah. Water bear, North Carolina? What is the NC then? North Carolina. He, that's my coworker. Who would live in North Carolina? Fewer and fewer people every day. Yay! They, they flock to Indianapolis. The greatest and brightest minds uh, swarming to our cultural metropolis in the midst of the golden sea of corn. Okay then. Anyways, after the Tar Heel. Of 20,939, who he, by the way, beat Mr. Bearded fun. Bread and Jumper Jack and a few other regulars. Mr. Bearded Bread himself has 19,021. He has been, he's been dropping a little bit in the past few weeks. Which is strange because this seems like a relatively easy challenge considering all the good scores that we had. But anyways. Him out, shaming him. <laughs> get get better again, Mr. Bearded Bread. And guess who came in last? Ooh! I don't know why Tulkus thinks I have an obsession with winning, because I came in absolute last for this seed. Yeah, 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 that's the thing, you know, it's you're, you're always, you know, just so focused, you know, your, your ambition. You know, you're like Julius Caesar, and I'm like Brutus. A2 Brute, then fall Caesar. Stab me in the back? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think it was like I stabbed you in the front, though. Wasn't that the thing? Because, like, I mean, he, he saw me stabbing. Maybe the... And then he was like, it's the, He physically stabbed in the front, but metaphorically stabbed him in the back. Well, aren't yes. you Mr. Pedantic? He was a TF2 spy. Who? What? Okay. I never was really on your side. Aww. I don't know. Matt would get the reference. Da, 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 da. Exactly. So, time to crown a new weekly champion. I love this craziness going at the top of the, the boards here. So, let's see if we can have it uh, go on for another week. As usual, the seed will be in the description below. Go ahead and click on it, play along, share your scores in the comments, or in the GeoGuess or subreddit, etc., etc. Is everybody ready? I would wager that this is our longest intro ever. Quite possibly. Five minutes and change, yeah. But I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. Well, that was... That was... A beautiful intro. Um, where is this? I guess we have bushes. Um, the, the very few peop, uh, places have bushes. I don't know. I'm in a slap happy mood today. Um, 
my, my, my academic uh, life has been um, going not, not well. So we're just like, ha ha. Okay, that was an American word sign. That, that's good. Um, that's actually, it may not be an American word sign. We're going to look at this sign. It says, um, yeah, I have no idea what that means. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Me Mexico, probably. Not America, though. So we have that. Um, though I didn't meet, get to meet uh, kittens this week, which is fun. There was uh, Gigi and Ruby and Delta. And it was Ruby's birthday, and it was sweet. Well, it's somewhere that has some English. And it also some Spanish. And some places, things that look like American road signs. So it's like, you know, it could be, it could be like South Africa or something. But it's probably either Mexico or like Spain. And this has an American kind of feel, you know, like, I don't know. This feels odd. You know, it's, it's, it's rare that we get a, a place that feels, you know, truly just, you know, like abnormal. But this, this, this place is certainly qualifies. And it's, this series has gone on for so long. I, I do wonder, like, how many, how many, how many lives must I, must I waste? But yeah, um, I, I, I sort of wish that I'd uh, been keeping count with, like, episode numbers on these videos, because I just wonder how, how many videos are great. Holy cow, apparently, why are there three dots? Uh, it's all three of us. No, because I'm yellow. There's three blue dots. Oh, you have three I, blue I, dots? Mm. I am guess maybe Ver, uh, Verta's playing. So, anyways, oh. apparently nobody looked at the sun, which was way to the north. Um, anyways, if you drive down the road far enough, there was a sign for Santa Rosa and a few other cities that were obviously um, either Spanish or Portuguese. I don't know. Um. Anyways, I guessed in southern Brazil got twelve forty three. That seems like a pretty low score, considering how close I am. Anyways, how'd you do, Matt? Um, I did not look up at the sun, and basically everything else was more or less useless. <laughs> uh, kind of Mexico Texas border for eighteen points. Tacos. Yeah, that sun thing is beyond me. Um, I uh, had the fourth odd. I, I thought I was like Mexico, but I was I was incorrect. Clearly, I really should have guessed Argentina though, because it didn't have a Mexico feel, it didn't have a Brazil feel, but then it still had like a, a large fancy pants there. I don't know. Uh, Twenty-two points. Alrighty, and I'm guessing Rita's probably the other one. Makes sense. Anyways, at you for conflict with him, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. And round two, you guys ready? Yep. Affirmative. Three, two, one, go. Okay. And then the um the uh, special friend of these kittens, um I don't know, it's 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 like you know, whenever I, I tell people that I have the YouTube channel, they always ask me for the for the YouTube channel and it's like I'm not good at the YouTubes and there there are expectations that I have to live up to. Um now that's just not fair, man. CR. Czech Slovak CZ, maybe? CA? Dot com dot U no, not UK. Man. Because right now I'm thinking about uh, Czech Slovakia. Um, there's, there's Marco Polo, which may or may not mean anything. Um, yeah, that, that could be CA, no, I mean, CA would be Canada, but this, this is, seems to be pretty clearly in Europe. Um, I'm gonna actually just sort of look, uh, am I spacing on any, uh, the, the, the CZ, yeah, that, that could have been a Z, I mean, it was a, sort of a, 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 a squatty kind of letter, I mean, it's CA, it could be Cro Croatia, does this, does this look like Croatia to you? I mean, 
then it wouldn't be .ca, it would be because that's still Canada. So, I don't know what Croatia would be. There's a, a, a Pedro. Man, why? Why? This could be Mexico. Um, this is going to... Uh, something tells me that this is not a uh, geogether that I am going to have the mastery in. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It, it looks like Spanish, but okay, that's that's nice. Oh wow, someone got Europe in there. Well, again, the sun was to the north. Um, it looked very dry. It, it looked a lot like the previous one we have, which makes sense because it is right. It's not too far from it at all. Anyways, I guessed in uh, Uruguay. And it got 2662. How'd you do, Matt? Northern Brazil, 500. Talk us. So I saw a URL uh, on the side of the bus, uh, you know, domain name thingy. And it was like dot .com dot .something something. And I managed to uh, stare at it for a very long time, trying to make it out. And, and I ended up convincing myself that it was a uh, dot .cz. And definitely we was thought dot cz, and so I got two points. <laughs> nice. So, Werta, I'm guessing, also got mid-Brazil there. Yeah. I'm proud right. of you, Werta. Next round, you guys ready? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it was like two squat letters next to each other. I don't even know what Argentina would be. Would it be like AA? Was that even, like, a, a country thing? Was it, like, another thing? It's all cray, man. It's all cray. <laughs> why can't everyone just be America? Like, why can't... It's like, America, take over the world. We're gonna have, like, George Washington, you know, we're gonna reincarnate him, and he's gonna be, like, the world emperor. And we can have, like, one president, reincarnated president, for each of the, uh, the, uh, the, the places, including Andrew Jackson, because he was meanie. Um, oh well, uh, Park Regional des Appalaches. Well, guess I know where we are. We're in the, uh, the, the regional park for the Appalachians in Quebec, because, okay, so, so the Appalachians, like, go up through here. I am confused. I like like, do the Appalachians go into Canada, or is this just, like, some, like, French settlers found their way to Appalachia or something? Just go in, go in, come on, come on. The Apple... Lake Talon. So, so Lake Talon. That's, like, something. That's, like, an only you can prevent forest fires kind of thing. Um... Um, do... Okay, so, I mean, we can see mountains. Can, can we see the mountains? Like, I want, I want to look. Okay, so, so Quebec. Come on, come on. No, no, no. I, I keep. It's, it's difficult, man, because the, uh, the, the mouth wheel. You know, the middle wheel. Everything is dying. Everything is dying. Do you see any Appalachians? No. Okay. That's, that's nice. Uh... Okay. So we have um, some cold uh, weather trees there. Um, we have kilometers on the road signs. My original yeah. guess was in Saskatchewan until I came across a sign that was in French. So I guessed outside of Quebec City and got 4222. How did you do, Matt? I did not make it far down enough that road to see kilometers. Um, I ended up finding a sign that said maximum 50, like, as we ran out of time. And that would have been my only hint that it was Canada. And I put it in Washington because cold weather trees. Uh, 376 points. Talk us. So I saw a sign saying uh, regional park of the Appalachians in French. So, so I was, wasn't sure if the Appalachians like went into Canada because I thought that they were, like, I know the Rockies do, but I didn't know that the Appalachians were 
like went anywhere near that far north, but um, evidently they do. I just sort of assumed that it was maybe, maybe like some European transplant colony. I live in isolated in the mountains, put up some like French signs because that's what Easterlings do. Am I right, Matt? Um, yeah, twenty-two twenty, alas. <laughs> like the village. Anyways, yeah. Looks like we're to guest in the Saskatchewan. You guys ready? Yep. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Whew. Big on the countryside this episode. Uh, we don't have cities anymore. Sound like I'm getting a headache. Man, my, my commentary is just... It's like the Northmen, you know? I'm, I live in this world surrounded by Northmen. And then... It, it, it's weird. It's weird. My, 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 my life. What, what, what my lack? My lack. Okay, so we're... This looks like uh, the United Kingdom of uh, Great Britain in Northern Ireland. Yeah, this this could very easily be, be mistaken for the United Kingdom, but I know that it ain't the United Kingdom because it has the uh, the Germindy, which probably means something. Um, built for tough. I did not know that, uh, like, Ford was a thing in the East. Does this... Any chance that this is, like... No, there's, there's houses and stuff. This is probably, like, Belgium. Locke is in Belgium. We were talking in, in, in the comments. We had a, a nice long chat about Belgium. Um, Locke is... Brr. Mendefield. Manderfield, Manderfield. You see that that flag is probably um, it's probably Belgianese. <laughs> Belgianese. Um, yeah. So we're gonna uh, ho assume that that's. Do we see any Manderfields around here, or whatever it is that we Antwerp? I walk walk admitted a uh, Belgium challenge. I'll need to like look at Belgium stuff. I wonder if maybe the Netherlands. Has Manderfields? Come on, come on, come on, mate. Do you see any Manderfields? I don't see any Manderfields. Well, it's, it's European Union. I'm gonna go over here. Oh, okay, that's good. And add some Germany. Well, if you went one way, you hit a dead end. You go the other way, if you get down far enough, you get out of whatever the hell that is. And there was some signs that looked an awful lot like German. I guess middle of Germany got 4,029. How'd you do, Matt? I was dead set on Scotland until, like, with five seconds left, I found a sign with some German on it. Uh, middle of Germany, 4,043. Caucus. I uh, saw the Belgian flag, and I was going to guess Belgium anyway, because, I mean, we don't really have German guesses ever. So it, was, it had to be Belgium, basically. But, yeah, 5403. Um, 4503, rather. Not 5403. That would be very strange. And it looks like Rita had the same idea as you, Matt. She's guessed in Scotland. Yeah. All right. Next round. You guys ready? Yep. Scotland, buddies. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Man, this, it's... Yeah, so... I mean, we, 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 we won that seed. So, you know, progress. Um, Katahiluma. No. I, I hope that that would say, like, Crimea or something. Be Hermione... I'm not going to learn thrilling just for the sake of winning in this geo-guesser. I'm, I'm really bad at learning languages, too. It is just so embarrassing how awful I am. But then again, I am a very lazy and very sad person. Well, not very sad. I'm very happy. I don't know. I, I would. I could take back, but I just babbled. But you know me. I just babble things, you know? That's when I say as any, as, as any, you know, it's just, just you, you, you just talk, you know, you're just here talking. You know, people think you're sad, but you're not really sad. Well, I sort of am sad, but that's, I'm not really sad. No. I, I mean, I might, ah, no, no, I'm not sad. I'm not sad. I'm happy. Happiness, joy. Ah, uh, <laughs> why, why, why is this happening? Why did this happen to me? I got off of commentary, and I'm... I don't know. 
But I met uh, three kittens last week, and you didn't, so you know, there. And uh, Ruby, uh, I got to play with Ruby, and there's like a laser pointer thing. Ruby was darting all around the room. Be uh, weird if the, um, if the Ruby friend saw this video. That probably won't happen, because I guess it could happen. That would be weird. I don't know. Ukraine! Ukraine is weak! I guess fine. Kazan, we'll guess... No, no, no. We'll, we'll guess over here, because we're behind in the score, so we need to try to beat... We'll, we'll go down here, okay. Beat, beat, beat par a bit. And we failed to beat par. But, you know, the whole... Alright, so, uh, you go down the road a little bit, you see some Russian... Um, pretty hard to figure out exactly where we're at. I don't... I'm looking at the city name, and I don't think that was the what was on the sign, so... I don't know what the hell that sound was for. Anyway, I guess between Moscow and Kazan, he got twenty-one thirty-two. How'd you do, Matt? I guessed uh, off the border of Ukraine into Russia. I got nineteen oh nine. I guessed Russia purely because of the gasoline prices. And talk is. I yeah, I figured I needed to um, take a bit of a gamble to win, and I uh, gambled poorly. Sixteen fifty-eight. Where did you gamble? Uh, near, near Ukraine. I don't think we've ever had one on this in this area of Russia up here by Finland. Uh, no, I guess not. I think that's a first. I think we've had one fairly close to St. Petersburg, but I don't think we've had one up here. Mm. I guess uh, the Finn guest in Bulgaria. I think that you could recognize her, uh, her, her beloved homeland. Or near it, or something. Anyways, that looks like uh, the end of it. Let's look at our scores. I got 14,288. How did you do, Matt? Oh, just 6,846. <laughs> Lovely. Talkus. You know what they say? If you uh, if you beat Hat Mac Games and you've done enough to earn your... Si then you... I don't know. 8,405. And, and we actually got 5,659. So I guess... I playing golf. How about you guys? Yeah. Holy cow. Well, anyways, I'm sure I'm going to get destroyed by um, by Faux Fixer, Frips, and uh, Mr. Beard of Bread, and probably Jumper Jack, and everybody else. Our retinue has the weirdest of names. Yep. So if you played along, make sure you share your scores, and um, Mr. Frips, if you're watching this, um, speak up. We like to see... Um, how'd you get so good at GeoGuessr? And Please. we'll see you guys next time. I... Don't be mean to poor Fritz. He's just probably just, you know, he's just, he just couldn't take the suspense, man. He cracked under the pressure. It's difficult. <laughs>